Nico, cause she my one and only. Critics got their face up in my business. Um, I got connected to Warner Brothers in about 2006, I think it was. And that was basically through, the, uh, through my a &R over there. His name's Tick. And um, he heard my music, he caught on to it, and met up with the owner of my independent label, Russell Records. And they talked, and Tick came out here and seen me perform, do a show. And he heard my music, he was feeling what I was doing and, and where I could take, you know, music, you know, take the game musically. And um, I signed with Warner, and ever since then, like, they just really gave me that mainstream success, that mainstream push, and that, that real step that some people need from an artist before they check them out, you know what I'm saying? Like, my music was always there, but um, ever since I've been with Warner, it's just been like that that real seal of approval and they just been backing everything as far as the album and as far as how, uh, what direction I'm going in with my music they give me a lot of freedom to work over there so one is definitely a good spot for me it's what I go, so I need Sudafed. Big dog, nigga, all y'all brutal fed. They all come naturally. It's just whatever I feel right that day. Um, get some. It's a is is a track that just came out naturally. Soulmates is a track that just came out real naturally. It just depends on whatever mood I'm in, whatever beat I'm dealing with at that time, whatever types of music I've been listening to for the past couple weeks around that time point. And then I just really go in like that. Like, um, yeah, I don't even take it too serious. I just make whatever. <laughs> Those were songs like older songs when I was pretty pretty young. I was like 16, 17 around that time. <clears throat> and I was still, still in high school and um, just really dealing with working, trying to do the music thing and go to school, finish school up. And it was hard because, you know, my, my dad, his, his whole mindset was for me to go to school and everything. Like he always supported my music, but he wanted me to go to school. so. Um, that was just me, just, you know what I mean, being young and expressing myself and like really knowing that I wanted to do this music thing but not knowing how to put it across and then it ended up working out so, you know, everything is everything but that was just what I was going through at that point. No, I don't have no vocal training <laughs> at all. I could probably use some, I could definitely use some. But nah, I mean, I just listen to music like real deep into the music, to the chords and stuff like that. So I kind of taught myself how to sing. Me and E Dan and me and Josh, <clears throat> we go in on songs and we really make sure everything's lined up perfect. And then sometimes I just get in there and just do the, the freshest thing that comes to my head. So I definitely had no training. It's just me getting in there and flying. Yeah, the day to day and the hundred movement, that's crazy. That's just uh, off my Twitter, twitter.com backslash real with Khalifa. And um, yeah, that just all started because people really wanted to see me um, on the internet because um, I dropped a couple videos and I was getting a lot of good responses. They were just real regular videos. And then I just figured I'd, you know, invite the people to a more personal aspect of me since they enjoy my music. And then that just took off and took me to a whole nother level. And um, I'm still keeping that going. It, it gets a little hard to, you know, do them all the time because I don't want them to get repetitive. And, you know, I be in the studio a lot of the time, so I can't just keep showing studio footage. But, um... Yeah, other than flight school, which is going crazy on the internet, and I capture like the whole, you know, making of that process. I'm working on this mixtape with Currency. He just dropped his um, his album. It's called This Ain't a Mixtape, and um, I'm working on another mixtape, two mixtapes actually, G2 and Cabin Fever. So I'm gonna be dropping those as well. And we put a tour together. So man, it's just gonna be crazy. It's gonna be a big summer. Um, all my tattoos got meaning, and right now I definitely don't got a favorite one. My favorite thing is my sleeve, though. I'm really liking my sleeve, and I'm about to um, I'm about to get my my whole chest and body like faded together. Like it's all done, but I'm about to get it put together. So that's going to be my favorite when I get that finished. And I'm working on my leg and stuff like that too. I got one on my leg, so I'm trying to get my whole you know calf muscle done up. But yeah, I got I got a couple tattoos. <laughs> I could cook. Like, I've been cooking since I was young as heck. 
know what I'm saying? So I could cook like really, really good stuff. <laughs> not not just like hamburgers and stuff like that. Like I bake fish and and do homemade macaroni and cheese and spaghetti and all that stuff. So yeah, I cook. <laughs> they want to know about Easy Water. Um, that's my man. And uh, I really can't tell y'all, like, too much about him because he's more like a behind-the-scenes type of dude. Like, <clears throat> he does more than one thing, you know what I'm saying? So if I told y'all who exactly who he was, it would spoil his other what he does, you know what I'm saying? But he's definitely been around, like, since the beginning, the beginning. Like, since you've seen me, you've pretty much seen Easy Wider, but you just didn't know who he was. But, like, he plays a, a, a real part, a, a real big part in, like, coming up with a lot of the creative ideas and, like, um, <clears throat> sometimes just really giving the whole mind state for uh, for a song, like, where I'm going to go for a song. Like, sometimes he puts me in a mind frame to a point where I can, uh, write what I need to write, so, I mean, you've seen him before, but you just didn't, didn't know who he was. <laughs> I get money from Sunday to Sunday, lady. Oh, behave. I'm young, rich, famous. Grind and keep my pockets on sports, a nigger. So the camera crews follow us. All my diamonds traffic jam. They give you some kind of rush. Baby, I'm a star. You could join this constellation. Okay. It's young Wiz Khalifa, man. Ill vibes. Came through, understand. I go. DMV.com. Tell the gang. Rush from records, I'm the bomb. You know me. Pittsburgh, I'm the man. Flight school. Get it however you can. And I'm on the way to your city or your state. On toward the summer. Gonna take away. <laughs> I told you all this money ain't for show. I let it 